As we put our faith in Jesus Christ and the grace of God that was shown to us through him, we become the children, the sons and the daughters of God. Now, I want you to think about this maybe with fresh eyes this morning because this relationship, this fact that we are sons and daughters of God means everything. And it should be such a deep encouragement to each one of us. It means that we've been reborn spiritually and placed into a new family where God is the Father and each one of us is brothers and sisters. It means that God the Father loves us. And He not only loves us, but He proved His love for us by sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross on our behalf and to take the punishment for our sins. It means that I'm no longer under the law, but I'm now free. I'm free to love God. I'm free to love other people. And it means that the living God of the universe now invites me to walk with Him and to talk with Him. And we have an ongoing, life-giving relationship. It means that He provides for me. It means that He speaks to me. It means that He guides me along. He disciplines me. He corrects me. He helps me to grow as, as a mature believer in Jesus. It means that because He first loved me, I can love Him back. And I can offer my life for His glory. And I can say, God, because you did so much for me, because you died for me, because of the lavishness of your love, God, my life, in response to that, is completely yours. And God, whatever you say, I say in advance, yes. You want me to go here? I say yes. You want me to say this? I say yes. My life is yours. I'm completely surrendered to the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord.